ci vuole di tutto ma
What is needed is a handful of earth. A handful of earth to grow a little plant. This is what Mother said in, in 1967 at the end of the year. Orville was still two months away from coming to birth physically, but the previous years she has described already in great detail all the elements that would constitute Orville. The food, the, the buildings, the architecture, the design of the town. A town that was going to be dedicated to the future, that was trying to invoke a new consciousness and bring it down upon earth. If you look at human thought from the time human thought has awakened, the idea of creating a, a piece of earth that would be dedicated to the highest aspiration that human beings have, a city of God on earth, a place where people could build a new mind and body. This has been a dream that has been there for centuries. It has expressed itself in bones and it has never survived. Orville is 52 years today, and that in itself is miraculous. Because to have a piece of earth, this difficult, surveilled earth, full of problems still, a piece of earth that is dedicated to the future, to an invocation that calls down the highest powers, powers that are beyond the present consciousness of human beings, that we can have a piece of consecrated land is quite miraculous, but it needs help. Mother was very practical and one of the first things she said was buy the lands. Not because Orwell wants to be the biggest landowner in the area, but because the land is consecrated to the future. It's not also as if the Orwellians are that brilliant. We haven't achieved the consciousness that would manifest all of it. It's a progressive journey, and we are taking only the first steps. Mother and children, though, at different moments talk about hundreds of years. But still, to have a piece of land that's concentrated, it would be wonderful if the government of India would help us to secure this land. Not for the Aurovillians, but for the consecration to the future that Aurovill represents, for the dream that it represents. So this moment where we are gathered here, where Her Excellency, the Lieutenant Governor of Pondicherry, has come to help us begin this journey, Art for Land, is a moment to wish for securing all the lands of all of There are a couple of lines in Savitri. The massive barrier breakers of the world, the wrestlers with destiny, in her lists of will. They remind me of you, Madam Governor, because you have broken enormous barriers. Dr. Kiran Bedi was the first Indian woman who became a member of the Indian police force. She opened a pathway for all the women who followed after. Today, there are hundreds of women police officers. But to be the first, you have to break a lot of barriers. So in 1972, when you joined the police force, you were already a very powerful, well-known tennis player. You could have had other career paths, but you chose to open this pathway. And only the barrier breaker knows what barriers need to be broken. So we thank you for this work you have done for the country. And in all the years when you were in the police force, you were constantly bringing transformation and change, policing with the people. One of the most wonderful moments in your career was when you became the Inspector General of Tihar Jail, which has almost 9,000, I'm not sure what the figure is presently, but when you were there, it was 9,000 prisoners. And you reformed that prison. You brought ideas that the whole world was looking at. And in recognition for that, we were given the Ramon Magsaysay Award, which is the Asian Award, which is kind of like the Asian Nobel Prize. You have always led from the front. 
And so the second line of Psalm 3, the wrestlers with destiny in her lists of will. Shobhita doesn't use the word fate, he uses will. And that's one thing, when I think of you, the willpower you have. You are always leading from the front. So this is a good sign for us in Oregon, because we also are trying to break barriers. We are trying to create a new society. We're not succeeding always so well. It's hard to live together without hierarchies. It's hard to seek sincerity. And all of it manifests if we can manifest that sincerity, which is our aspiration for the future. So welcome to Oregon, welcome to Art for Land, and I would invite you to say a few words. Thank you. It is a spiritual moment, a moment which doesn't need words as much as silence, because it's linked with beauty. <coughs> And beauty demands silence, reflection, going within. And all world stands for me as a place of beauty, a place of, place of peace, place of harmony, place of reflection, place of recovery, place of contribution. A place which can be, which is a destination for many souls yearning for something which you gave me this morning. The nutrition. Where is the nutritionist? <coughs> there you are. We've heard him at the Rajdamas as well. I wish I had known that you take contributions like this from so many contributors. We have within at Rajdamas also an artist, a very great artist, who's probably on my left or right. There he is. You. <laughs> you know what he does? Manika Nandan. What he does? He photographs while I'm on the move to keep me under watch. <laughs> but in his vacant moments, he paints. Why don't you dedicate one of yours to them? Hmm? And his art has been in Lalit's Academy, right? Lalit's Gallery. He's a very good painter. Can I, would you have space for him? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Would you like to give away one? <laughs> Lalit would approve of it. Yes. Lalit certifies. It's very, very good artist. There you are. So we, if we had known, Raj Nevas would have also been a part, a part of parcel of this. But it is a, for a few days money. No, it's for the whole year. So. Oh. Oh. Keep sending. <laughs> Incidentally, even you can be one of your photographs as contribution. This is not a place for photographs. No, we have yes, photography yes, too. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, we have photographs also. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> then I can be a part of it. <laughs> I do every morning photography. Wow. Yeah, for the reason that Raj Devas is a place of photography. When I get up at 6, 6.15 out in the gallery of Raj Devas, it's just trees, it's palm, it's sunlight, it's beautiful color. Every day the color of the sky is different. It's got purple, it's got gray, it's got white, it's got such a mixture. And I shoot it. And whether you want to watch it or not, I send it to all my friends. <laughs> I actually, they wake up with my photograph. Sometimes it's a chirping of a bird, sometimes it's a crow flying in, sometimes it's just over my national flag, the birds. So I do all these things. Anyway, photograph if you have a place, then they'll be competing. I've got so many. And that too, Lalit Sitsil. And they are adorning the walls of Raj Devas. You're welcome to come and see, and then judge them, which is fit for Oral which should be good for him, so I would be happy. So I'm a part of art in some form or the other. Actually, I begin with art every morning. Because Rajdas is also a place of art. It's a place of natural art. Every day the moon looks different. 
Every day the sunrise and the sunbeams come differently. And I keep photographing the beams. I photograph and I just get, sometimes I feel after a while it's a repetition. But nature repeats after a while. It's an after a while. The beam entering my bedroom is a perfect piece of art. I did it. Who do you want? Who Do you have a group which I can send you once or one for you? Yes. Yes. Art for land. Art for land? Yes, art for land. Okay. okay. I'll send you some. You can look at them. So friends, thank you so much for bringing me to a place of peace and harmony and longevity. You are, um, you are a very important attraction for Puducherry. For the reason, the economy of Puducherry is a lot linked to the economy of Oro, the place and positioning of Oro. They don't know you are in Tamil Nadu. They think you are in Puducherry. <laughs> Absolutely. And anybody, any traveler, any tourist, as you know, the tourism, the population of Puducherry is, let's say, 14 lakhs. And our tourists are also crossing 14 lakhs. And a lot of it comes because of two, the Oroville and the Ashra. And then when they have time, they walk the beach. So three things our economy of Puducherry is you, the Ashram, and the beach. Now, beach we maintain, we clean. Ashram is maintained by Mother herself and Sri, and Sri Aurobindo. And Aurobindo is again Mother's blessings. See, it's Mother all, all the way through for us. So it's Mother taking care of the economy and livelihood and quality of life of Puducherry. Thank you for giving me this uh, opportunity. You've been addressing me as Excellency. I'm not Excellency. <laughs> I'm not excellency. I'm just a simple killer baby. So please take away the word excellency from me. <laughs> but I will move towards excellency. <laughs> and I must introduce my younger sister visiting me today. She's my younger sister, my father's brother's daughter, Sonia. She's come here. I told you, nobody can come to Puducherry without going to Matsui Mandir and, and she was saying, Ma, Titi, it's such a place of peace and harmony. It, the silence, what did you say? <laughs> the silence say? is next level. I mean, you really enjoy the silence. Yeah. The experience is completely different. Never <clears throat> had experienced that kind of silence. It was beautiful. She's come with the son-in-law and the daughter. They've also already been there and now they've got to. We plan to go there again tomorrow because I think once is not enough. Thank you so much. So my family is also coming. Also my team Rajnivas is she. Come. She's also a photographer like me. Anybody else from team? So I've already introduced you to my artist painter. Yes. Yes. That's, that's the uh, uh, painter and that's a videographer who will document today everything what we say. <laughs> so that's a team. We also have an intern. Come here. She's a Harvardian. She's come from uh, uh, MIT. You come from MIT? Harvard. She's come from Harvard as an intern. And she's studying, uh, CS. she's writing something. And Dina, she does all LinkedIn and Instagrams. So this is my little team also. It's just so inspired to be part of you today. So giving us, the whole team, Rajnavas, an opportunity to be part of us. Thank you. Thank you.